This is my basement. This is where we store random crap. See, I'll start over here. This is my train set. I, it has, I haven't used it in a while, but if you see here, this pile of stuff. This is all stuff I've destroyed, or me and or friends of mine. Stuff we've destroyed over time. I'll just show you some of the best of the best. This here, M1 tank, the one of the treads broke, so Justin and, and I were like, screw it, we'll destroy it. So we did. It lasted quite a while, but I just put the pieces on so you can take it apart. This car here, Lotus Elise, this one didn't work anymore, so again, Justin and I took a hammer to it. It died pretty quickly. There were pieces. We smashed it all the way over right about here, in this area, with a bowling pin. Here's our, here's our weapon of choice. Bowling pin. I got this several years ago at a birthday party. It was like five or six years ago. I've been smashing stuff with it. See, battle scars. Then we have this is over here anyway. This is my demolition derby car. The front bumper fell off because I was crashing the living hell out of it. But it, it's uh, it just uses uh, is a lot of tape and just for fun I put a little missile on the side. See, this is a piece from a truck. This was a piece of a binder. See, the stuff is very strong. I mean, you can crash it and it won't feel any pain. I used to also have something over here, but it fell off. This is my off-road car. I don't really like the rims, but, eh, oh well, what can you do? It's got, you know, some kind of RAM device. It used to have a bull bar from one of my Humvees, but it started coming off, so I put something new on. See? And then the rear bumper... It's got a lot of scratches, but other than that, it's it's fine. It's a good car. It's very fast. It's best if used off road. So you put stickers on it, but you can use it on road. It just won't handle very well. There are lots of scratches on it. It's just hard to see though because it's so shiny. See, it's, it has it has its share of crashes. Mustang GT500 stunt car. Oh yes, this one. This car is this car has had plenty. I've flipped this car over more times than I can remember. See those that scratches. There are lots of pavement scratches on the roof, but a friend of mine put a fire truck ladders on top to protect it against that. I used to, I used to have rear bumpers on it, but then they fell off because I used this in a demolition derby with Justin. <laughs> it's funny. See, this is actually the back of a fire truck. I just put it on backwards. I think it's I think it works okay. This is another derby car. I'm trying to find something that'll fit onto the front end of it. It's pretty strong. Fire truck lab inside, and of course a boat on the back. As you can see, I enjoy tape. Tape is very cheap and it works. See, it's not very fast, but it's good. Okay, me. Oh yeah, and this is a Corvette. I bought. I got this. I think in seventh grade two years ago. So I'm in high school now. Ninth grade. Yeah. I took off the bottom carbon fiber piece, but I'm thinking of either just leaving it as is or finding parts to put on it. it it's almost too nice for me to wreck it, but that's what I thought about my Oldsmobile, but yeah, it got wrecked anyway. This, this is the fast car. If you want, if, if I were to take any car off a jump, it would be this one. It's a ricer, yes, I know, but it's really fast. Let's see. Huge motor in the back. Yeah. Remember, it was, it, this thing can go up and down my driveway. Going off a jump, I think, would be okay because of it's just because of how fast it is. It has, if we go off a jump too slowly, you could crash. I've had that happen before. Or you front flip the car. This is a Hummer H2. I, I think it works. It has plenty of damage on the front from crashing, but, I mean, the bull bar is still there. Lots of scratches, though. This, this car, I've taken it off many jumps. This kind of effect still works. It's a Porsche 911 Turbo. Hood opens and stuff. Yeah. See? But wow, that's a lot of scratches. Just goes to, just goes to show what happens when I take something off a jump. Okay, and then we have over here model car. Let's see. Oh yeah, Justin built this. It was a Roche COK GTR. Huh, that was pretty cool. It's missing a few pieces though. This is a police car, BMW. What kind of police car is it? I forgot. What's it say? Oh, not, it's not an M3 though. It's a BMW. I don't know. But it, the light bar works and stuff. It's pretty cool. And then we have under here Plymouth Barracuda. 1971. 
I've yet to set this one up and use it, but it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. What I take now before I ask before now I, I know what you're thinking. Would you ever make this a derby car or take it off a jump? No and no. It's just too nice. I mean, wow. Would you would feel like an idiot for wrecking this? I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I gotta get off my lazy ass and do something. Okay, so then. This was a shell of an old model car that didn't really come out well, so I just assembled it. Of course, vehicle, some more, some more things I've smashed. Let me see, what was my, what was my most recent victim? Was it? Oh yeah, Humvee. It had a met, that metal plate you see right here. That was what made it so durable. Oh yeah. Then here's a tow truck that. This was from the first time I just gave it a whack with a bowling pin. Now it's in two pieces. <laughs> it was funny. It really was. We were, you know, we were just thinking of how how this could possibly happen. And it was like, oh, he just like got T-boned really badly. Now this, I've, there are too many cars here to name, but this car we smashed it with a bowling pin. NYPD Impala. It's really wrecked. Ford F-Series fire truck. I took the light bar off and used the rest of it for parts and smashed the rest. This was the one that I really liked. School bus. Haha. <laughs> Just damaged. Okay, and then truck. I don't know. There's so many things. Next time, next time Justin and I get together, then we'll definitely get a video of us smashing stuff. That'll be that is probably be funny. Truck. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see ya.